Welcome back. Miss Tina's finally made it home. We're so excited to be back at Coffee Talk. So we're going to have a lot of things going on for you. And she's back for good. Finally. Yes. Yeah, so. And appreciating all of the smaller or the little and the littler things in life. We've already spent one weekend on the river. We've visited with so many friends. And the most exciting thing I did this weekend was the Love Expo in Madison, Indiana. And a lot of people don't know about this. And it happens every year, right? It does. And it's coming so. up again in September. And we'll try to get a video and right. have her in the director. But it was magnificent. I got my necklace from it. And... We've had a wonderful time enjoying downtown Madison. Well, now tell them more about what the Love Expo is. I mean, what exactly is entailed in the Love Expo? It what has did you see there? crystals, people that sell crystals, chakra stones. We had readers. We had religious leaders as far as in their domain. We had healers. It was amazing. And I say we, I, I just found out about it. So it was, it was somebody asked me, and I said, I think I'll go over there. And it was truly about love, and it was about sharing with everybody and how right. you can feel better. It was amazing. I wanted to go both days, but only made it once. So, Well, that's fine. At least you made it. We did. We thing. did. And so. I want you to know that Madison, Indiana is beautiful. I'd forgotten how fantastic it truly is. We rode 20 miles or more on Sunday. And my husband and I bought those bikes in Kansas yes. because of the bike trails. So one of our trepidations of moving back to this area was the biking. And it was beautiful. It was fabulous. We rode now, all where the did way you get to go? Well, well, we started at Cooper's in, Bottom. In Milton. In Milton. Right. And now that we have the Milton-Madison Bridge, we could actually ride all the way to Milton and right. cross the bridge. You can stay in the emergency lane. Don't, please don't go on the uh walking trail yeah don't there's not enough room yeah, we didn't ride try the bike that. on the sidewalk ride it on the uh, right we didn't lane. try that but we rode on the emergency lane that first hill is a little bit much <laughs> i was like i'm not gonna make it but we did and then we came across went all the way down the river ate at chili billy's is that his name yeah chill billy's yeah. chill billy's yeah. had an ice cream it was fabulous went to heritage trail and then we actually went to the end of hatcher hill so we could see where it connected right but it was our first ride for the season in this area so we didn't try the hill but it looked intimidating you but can you can go up the hill or come down it and then cross the bridge and go back down cooper's bottom right so, yeah, right you're good it was just it was amazing well good and that bridge you know i have a friend her name's debbie <laughs> She helped with that bridge. I, I just I didn't help with the bridge. I just did the Facebook page for the bridge project. There's a difference. <laughs> I didn't drive. But a, you still I didn't use any little spuds or sledgehammers. So no, it, <laughs> it was actually uh, Kentuckiana News that yeah, did, did follow the yeah. entire production as far as the demolition yeah. and the rebuilding. Yeah. Didn't and that was amazing. I don't know if a lot of people understand this or not. We have the longest truss slide in the world in our backyard. That is what the is Milton a truss slide? <laughs> well, we talk about this a great deal because she says words. And I go, what? What was that? <laughs> it's where they actually hook strand jacks onto a structure and pull it across to where they want it to to rest. But like I said, we have the longest truss slide in the world right here in Milton and Madison. So we have a lot of tourists coming. Oh, that it's we don't amazing! Realize. Everybody you know, should come. I mean, we told yeah. everybody in Kansas we already have for. Not the regatta, but for that week. So sometime during that week, we already have several friends from Kansas coming. They're, I mean, they're so excited. And I think before we left, we kind of, we kind of overlooked those uh, small, the little things in life, well, you know. Yeah. And now that we're back, we're exploring, and it's been so much fun. And the people, you just can't beat them. You just can't. They're wonderful people around here. Well, it's here. funny when you live somewhere, and you're going to go on vacation, right? You look at a state or two away instead of going and looking at what you have you forget that you have a lot of cool things in your own backyard we do and we're constantly and looking so, for new things because right. out there it was you know it was very city it was one mile down the road and we could get somewhere right. and now we have to drive a little further <laughs> yeah, but I truly further. enjoyed it I I uh, I drove to Louisville yesterday and I thought this is a beautiful drive right it was fabulous but 
you know, if you're thinking of a place to go this summer, maybe some summer fun, yeah. this area has a great I, deal to offer. Between Crestwood, Kentucky, and Scottsburg, Indiana, and Switzerland County, and Clarksville, that's kind of our little hub because we don't always go all the way to Cincinnati. We right. don't always go all the way to Indianapolis or Louisville, but we have that little hub there. You wouldn't believe the festivals that are in that oh, area, no. and some of them the same weekend, but you can drive in one day you can drive to two or three of them unless you just really and the wineries yeah. are amazing we have the not been on trails. the waiter, winery, waiter, winery trail or we haven't been on the bourbon trail right but they are fabulous the well, whole see? you know you map out yeah. and everything the bourbon trail there in Kentucky right you go from Oldham County there's several different counties you can go to for the bourbon trail and then if you're here in in the Jefferson County side of it you can go to all kinds of wine trails right. and in Kentucky there's wine trails you and know festivals. so yes so there's there's a lot to do, right. but you have to look for it. It's not going to show up in your mailbox every day that this is going on. So you have to go to your, your local sites as far as um, your tourism boards. Like um, several of them say the county tourism. Mm -hmm. So if you type in tourism or even if you just go to Facebook and go into the go weekend into our website. <laughs> yeah, well, we try to keep you up on all that stuff. We try to give you a link there. And there are links. There's a page that has links to all the uh, the tourism uh, committees and stuff in each county. Right. There's the Chamber of Commerce in each county that's listed on there, and they have what's going on in their community. And like I said, you if you don't have anything to do, that's because you didn't get off the couch and look. Right, you didn't look. You and didn't we didn't look. even use we didn't even use a website or anything. We just got on our bikes and rode and we had some people tell us where to you know, where places yeah. that, to stop and see. And one of my favorite while we're on this topic is the signs in Madison. I know they were there before. Well, but no, we actually read they've been added all of them. They have added more in Madison because they got um the the gateway signage stuff. I knew you would know. Because yeah. <laughs> I well, didn't know. I, I mean, don't we know just, all the details. We actually had to stop our bikes several times right. and say, wait, I want to hear that. I want to read this. I want to read right. this. Right. Well, they got um, signage right. funding, and then they that's what they have done with it. They've gone in and put in historical signage to talk about why this building's there or why, like uh, on the riverfront, it talks about the cherry trees that are the people in Japan at Arvin Sango mm -hmm. sent those cherry trees over here for the waterfront. And the bricks. So, now I'm ready to get yeah. all of my children. Yep. That's I remember when that was put in this telling age. But yep, well. I do remember and I remember my dad had one on Broadway right. because that was my dream was to be an actor. So he had it right in the middle of Broadway. Oh wow. And I want to get that one fixed and then I want to purchase I have some mine for my there. Do you really? Yeah, mine's you know where the big rocker is that I where got. Where would we buy those if we did? Well, um, you have to buy them through the city, okay. except where that rocker is. The you know the big rocker I got yes. off the bridge project. That's so cool. I couldn't believe I got that. <laughs> got both of them. And then I had to give them the Walsh Doesn't construction. Doesn't give yourself enough credit. Well, I had to. Well, I couldn't do anything with them because they were too big, so I had to give them to the Walsh Construction. So in in courtesy of me, they actually put my name on one of the bricks in front of that oh. as part of the project. We need a picture so, of it to put on Facebook. Doesn't everybody well, think we should get a picture? Well, no, <laughs> probably not. But anyway, <laughs> I have my name on it down there. But if you want your name on a brick or a family member or a relative that's maybe deceased mm -hmm. and you want to recognize them, you can go through the city in, in Jefferson County, go down to Madison City Hall, tell them that you want a brick, and then you pay for the brick and they have it engraved. Searcy Monument does that engraving too, so we we, we love oh. Searcy. They're cool. But um, they'll do the engraving and then the city actually places the brick for you and you just... Do, they, do you get to choose where the brick is? I didn't know that because I'm I've not never sure. One. You can always ask when you go fill out your application to have that done and put your name in there and you can say if you want it in the southern end or the northern right. end or where. I never knew if mine just Let's happened see. to end up there or if know. it, you know, I don't know if my dad planned it, but it was fabulous. So yeah. it's been a wonderful trip back and I'm so that's cool. We're both super the, happy to be back. We're on yeah. the bricks. So that's right. Cool. Just don't step on us too hard. <laughs> I don't care. So. No, I don't feel it. <laughs> so we're going to so, catch up. We've caught yeah. up a little bit. Do you have anything going on that's exciting? Oh my goodness. We've got uh, two new interns that are turning out to be really cool kids. So that's awesome. They're actually growing up and maturing and learning the ropes. You're, gonna, you're going to do a video with them, right? Introduction? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So that's coming up. Yeah. Look for it. They'll be over here. Well, Once excited. they're comfortable. <laughs> that's the thing. Once they're ready. Yep.
That's funny. Well, I have a little snack for us. You know how we added that last time. So this was one of my favorites at home. If you've ever been to the Drake Farm, you will know that you would have a marshmallow cream and peanut butter. Even if, now if you're allergic to peanut butter, we would do something <laughs> else. But well, if you're yeah. not allergic to peanut butter, we would set that and we would have marshmallow cream. So what I have is I have marshmallow cream on a graham cracker. And then, and you can do Zestas or anything. Right. Actually, right. I'm going to be really honest. I like Zestas a little bit better. But you See, I would drop chocolate chips in there. Oh, you know, that's even better. But for a summer fun activity, I don't know about you guys, but I had tons of children at my house, and I still have a great deal. They're all right. adults now, and they're all 19 and above, but they're still there. So we make these treats, take peanut butter on the other side, and squish it together. Now, we have one little touch for the, from the Drake's is you have to squeeze it. Until it just And then lick everywhere. it all around. <laughs> It's a lot of fun for your kids. It doesn't matter if they're young or older. No. Or, or here's your treat. Well, thank you very much. So we have them. And just so. squish them. You can also do just marshmallow cream. But this was something that my children grew up yeah. on from the time they were tiny. And they still, I know, I'm going to say her name. It. JoJo, I know right now, if you are watching this, you are saying, everybody's had one of those at Mr. X well, Martinez. Yeah. <laughs> we always did this with, we would put it on bread a lot of times and then put, Sliced bananas. Oh, you and make then, a banana sandwich. Yeah, and put the peanut mm. butter on one side and the cream on the other, and then put the bananas on the and then squish it together. So that's what we did. That's fun. So you know, we're ready gonna that, eat this. No, I'm ready for. We're gonna have lunch here in a but, minute. So. But when you have this squeeze, you know, we're gonna yeah, let it get off mm, there. Then you so eat good. it. We have a lot of fun. That's always fun. We have one section left, and then we'll wrap it up. Yeah, and that is our love section. I have learned so much that it has been fabulous and you know that I have a company live love yes. LLC and we are now spreading messages through being happy and I think the neatest thing that I have learned is that you don't always have to be happy no and I think you need to think about you know why are you why are you feeling that experience and right what's, what's causing it and Sometimes it's okay because if you have somebody pass away, it's normal and it's good to be sad. Right. But how far to be sad? How, how you know how long do you allow yourself to grieve? Mm -hmm. And so I've been studying a great deal. And everybody's book different. is almost finished. Finally, the book ebook. It'll be a first ebook, but it, it could be an audio book first, depending on who is editing and right. which comes to me first. So. <laughs> but, I love the audiobooks. If you haven't tried them, they are magnificent. Right. I did them all the way to California, and it was magnificent, and it is going to be the next trend, I believe. Well, I, I really think it's believe. a lot easier. It is. It's, it's simple. You can do it anywhere. You know, you can put your earbuds in right. and listen to anything. I know. I have a lot of friends that actually listen to books on the way to work and back. Right. And I've done that. I've done they, that quite a bit, but yeah. it's never been this accessible. You always had to go mm -hmm. purchase a book. Right. You know, you had to do something in that situation, and now you just get on audiobooks. Oh, it's an yeah. app. It's right there. And download You're good. It. I mean, I had, I think I read, well, I listened to five different books on my trip to LA and back. Oh my gosh. And we have some great, exciting things coming up with our love. So remember we just talked about, mm -hmm. you don't have to always be happy. And so we now have vibration learning and it's a great thing. It'll be in the book, but it'll also be a part of our sessions. Mm -hmm. And so any clients that would like to learn about the vibrations and how you're feeling and what's going on, it's, it is fun. It is not just fun, it's life-changing. I think anytime you look at yourself and take time to evaluate, it's it changes your life. So I think it's and a for good the thing. better. Yeah. So well, we're not focused anymore better. on just finding your happiness, it but be better to better. find that best route for right. you to accomplish whatever it is you want to do. Exactly. But remember, so, all those people that you love, you have to send them lots of love. Yeah. You need to always keep that in mind, that, right? Yeah. I do want to bring up something before we finish. How about the grandchildren? Everybody's doing well. You have not mentioned your grandchildren. Well, they are. They're all doing really great. That's awesome. And Eli will be 16 this summer in July. That's fine. Yeah, I have a grandchild 16. It's like, whoa, wait a minute. But I also have another one that is like a grandchild, and he's like going to be 22. Wonderful. Yeah, I'm like, man, that one's really... That's so, so fun. I know. I can't tell you my age of my kids. <laughs> 
<laughs> Everybody knows on here because I usually cry when I talk about my kids, so I'm not going to bring that up today. But your kids like are doing great. Them. They are. Our kids fabulous. are doing amazing. They're all across the United mm -hmm. States, all and, the way to California, uh, California, Alabama, Tennessee, and of course Kentucky. Yeah. So I don't know. I think Nick likes Kentucky, but he might be heading towards the Cincinnati area. So well, mate. I don't know, Nick. I think he'll always be close to here. He loves home. Yeah, he loves. He's home. like mom, dad. He loves home. <laughs> He's not going very far. And luckily, my kids and grandchildren haven't gone very far. That's fun. We're you very get to enjoy them. Yeah. So you have any fun activities scheduled this summer? Oh, I, they, they are. The girls are the most amazing. Because mm -hmm. we go over there, and Anastasia thinks that Nana's the only one that can make coffee right. And you have to drink out of your teacup. Out of the teacups. You have to have a fancy teacup. You don't drink out of a mug or some funny looking cup. It's got to be a cup and saucer, she thinks. So, but it's just funny. She'll call me and she'll say, but I'll tell her I'm working. And she'll say, no, but you got to come and make my coffee. And I'll, well, your mama can't. No, mama doesn't know how. It's not as good if no. unless Nana makes it. it yeah. So oh, it's, I am looking forward to that part nice. of my life. And the boys, I mean, they're in high school. All three grandsons are in high school. Oh, so that'll be an interesting year. Wrestling, football, basketball. You have lots of activities coming up. You better rest in July. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. We can't rest though. We have regatta coming up, so that's right. And after regatta, we'll be working, working, working on other things. Yeah. So, so that's the coolest thing. Now that she's not in Kansas, we'll be doing this more routinely. Right. So, and adding. So yeah. we have activities, summer activities. We had our summer snack today. Just a little trip, you know, right, or I mean, a little snack, and just put your marshmallow cream, your peanut right. butter, and your graham crackers together. It's Next quick, time, easy, fun. We're gonna make something so you can make something really quick and easy with your kids for an, a fun summer activity. Well, yeah. Gotta have something. We fun like to doing do. that. I know how it is to be a parent and have all your oh. kids at home all of a sudden. <laughs> And You're thinking, i got to find something to do, especially the last rainy days, the few yes. rainy days. Oh, my gosh. It's, that can be bad. If you have, depends on how many kids you have in the house and how much they want to be outside. Right. But just remember to go to our website, in which is KentuckyAnnews.com, and check out all of the sites there. There's a page that actually has all the links. You just click on it, and it'll take you to their site and the tourism boards and the uh, visit places. And as always, we thank you for watching. Bridging the Gap in Kentuckiana News, and we love all of our sponsors. Take care.